my name is Bunny. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we're going to be teaching you how to play a game that is currently on Kickstarter called Autobahn. This one's designed by two different designers, Fabio Lopiano and Nestor Mangone, and it's published by Alley Cat Games, who are sponsoring this tutorial video. Uh, if you know these uh, designers, they have made different games such as Merv, Kalimala, mm -hmm. Darwin's Journey, Newton. So they're pretty renowned in the board game industry. And now they're teaming up together to make this new title mm -hmm. called Autobahn. Mm -hmm. And so in this game, players compete to build up an Autobahn network, try to deliver goods, and score the most amount of points in a post-war era in Germany. Mm -hmm. And so today, we're going to be showing you how to play it. But before we get started, we do want to mention that the copy that we have today is considered a prototype copy of the game, which means things are subject to change in the final copy, as well as some of the component pieces, which are definitely going to be changing. Mm -hmm. But if you're interested in following the campaign, we will leave a link in the description below. And last but not least, if you do like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, let's get started. So if you please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here technically for a three player game of Audubon, although we only have one player board set up. Yes. Because it does take quite a bit of space. Yes, it does. <laughs> So just to kind of give you the lay of the land, in the middle of the board here, we have the map that is home to our network of Autobahns that we're going to be trying to build up mm -hmm. in order to earn some money and uh, give us the opportunity to deliver goods and eventually earn us points. Up in the top left hand corner of the board is our dashboard and this is going to tell us everything that we need to know in terms of how much things are going to cost as well as how many spaces you'll be able to move your truck, etc. during the three different eras of the game. On the right side of the main board here, we have probably one of the most important areas of the entire game because this is home to the various construction offices as well as the administration area where we are going to be scoring all of our points at the end of the game. Last but not least, of course, all players have their own player board, which is going to house all of our service stations that we can build out onto the board, as well as our action selection mechanism up here, where we are going to be placing our player cards. And so we also start the game with an identical hand of seven cards, mm -hmm. one of which is going to go off to the side of your player board at the beginning of the game because you will not have access to it until the third era. So the game is played over the course of three different eras, and on your turn, you're going to be trying to do a couple different things. Namely, you're going to try to be building out different sections to try to connect cities by linking them together. You're also going to try to put out stations so you can earn income, as well as a couple other things. Each era ends when a certain number of roads have been constructed, and then at the end of each era, we go into an administration phase. At the end of the third era, we're going to go into endgame scoring, and at that point, whoever has the most points wins. Now, the way that each era works is players are going to be taking turns, taking one action each, essentially. Mm -hmm. And each turn is consistent of four different phases. So we're going to go through each phase of a turn using one player board, uh, just so we can have a good example as to how a turn is played. Now, the very first thing that happens at the start of your turn is if you're able to, you can claim a delivery bonus. So each player has their own delivery board that is asymmetric from all other players. The game comes with six of them and you only hand out one per player. Mm -hmm. And these delivery boards, as you can see, this is a prototype. But these delivery boards tell you which countries want what specific goods and how much they're willing to pay for other goods that are not preferred. Once during the game, if you're able to deliver a country's preferred good, which is a symbol here in the left-hand corner, then you get to place a delivery token on that spot. And then at the start of your next turn, you're eligible to claim this bonus by sliding this delivery token over. This is more of a later game concept, but just so you know, this is what you get to do at the very start of each of your turns. Once that's done, then you move on to the next phase where you get to take one action. So there are three different possibilities for actions that you can take. A majority of the time, you're going to be playing a card to the top of your player board here in order to take one of the five different available actions. When you play cards, they're going to stay on your player board until you're either forced to refresh your hand or on your turn, instead of playing a card, you can choose to refresh your hand as your action. Now, when you play a card as an action, you're gonna be playing one of the cards from your hand. And all of these cards are color coded. They correlate to one of the different uh, Autobahn networks on the board. And so each Autobahn is a length of road that is of one color. And all of these Autobahns kind of uh, snake together to form a network that connects various cities. At the very start of the game, the only Autobahn that's truly built is this one right in the middle here. Everything else still needs to be built up. So let's start with that action type, which is called building a road section. If you look at the top of your board here, it tells you how many cards you're allowed to play to that specific action before having to refresh your hand. And so this specific action is the only one at the start of the game that allows you to do it up to three times before having to refresh your hand. 
So the way that taking this action works is if I want to build a road, say on this purple Autobahn network here, then I have to play the purple card from my hand on top of that specific action type. So in doing this, I'm basically going to be taking this action, which is building a road, on the purple network, because that is the card that I played above that action. Now taking this action allows me to build just one road section. If you look closely at the board, in between each city or service area is a link. And a link is going to be comprised of either one or two road sections. So if you look over here, this link requires you to build out two different road sections. Taking this action only allows you to build out one. Mm -hmm. So now the cost that you have to pay in order to construct a section of road is dependent on the era as well as how big the link is uh, of the section that you're building. And this is all depicted on the dashboard up here. So if you look at the first era, which is the very top uh, row over here, building a section of road that's only one link in length costs you six DMs. However, if it's a section of road that is part of a uh, two section link, then it's going to be four DMs each. So if I were to take this action, then I would first go ahead and grab one of the road sections from that era and then place it on the section that I'm building. So maybe I'll build that over here. And when you're building out road sections, they have to be uh, connected to a road section that's already on the board. Mm -hmm. There are certain sections at the start of the game that are gonna be completely unavailable to us, and they're gonna have roadblock uh, symbols right here. And they're basically any road sections that connect to the Eastern area. Yes, because historically, East Germany was its own separate country. Uh, and so th until the unification back in 1991, which would be the third era, we do not have access to building out into East Germany. Yes, and that is also why we do not have this yellow card in our hand at the start of the game. So I place my road section. I have to pay the six DMs now. So I'm going to go ahead and pay that. And we start with 16 at the start of the game. Mm -hmm. And then you get to place out one of your employees in the construction office of that corresponding network. So I built a road section in purple. I get to place an employee in one of these seats at the very leftmost spot here. And the number of seats available is dependent on player count. Right now we're set up for a three player game, which means all of these numbered four seats will not be available. Mm -hmm. Now, if ever all seats are filled and I have to place another employee um, in that same construction office, then the leftmost employee gets bumped out and into the lobby. And then all the other employees slide down. This is one of the most important parts of the entire game because this is pretty much the only way that you score points. Actually, all of your points are going to come from this area right here. Right. At the very end of the game, for each employee that you have in the lobby, which is this section down here, you're going to score two points per employee. But really what you want to do is you want to be able to promote these employees into these different departments up here. And the only way to do that is by having uh, bonus actions that allow you to promote your employee, which we'll talk about later. Speaking of bonuses, anytime you build a link on top of one of these uh, imprinted bonuses on the, on the board, then you get to take the bonus immediately. And so these are going to be things like moving up on the development track, which is over here. And when you move up on this track, any time you land on a bonus and you get to take that immediately which are going to be things like promoting your workers which is one of the most important actions of the game mm -hmm. and uh, upgrading your action spots there are also areas of the board that have bonus tiles so if you build a section here then you get to take the tile into your possession and then every turn you can spend at most one of these tiles to take the action that's listed so it can be pretty powerful because it's an extra action essentially mm -hmm. so again since i built out that road section my employee is going to go in the leftmost section of this construction office and finally to end this entire action you update the city values as you can see here at the start of the game the only cities that have value tokens on them are the ones along the black autobahn road right here and the reason why is because this is the only road that has completed links and so each Autobahn that has at least one completed link that's connected to a city will increase that city's value by two. So now, now that we've completed this link here on the purple Autobahn road, this city value is going to increase to four. Also in doing this, Monique has also connected Frankfurt into the main Autobahn network. So now Frankfurt has a value of two. Very good. The other way to increase the city values is by upgrading these road sections, which is the next type of action right here. Taking this action allows you to upgrade a single carriageway link. And so if you look at all these, they're all on their single carriageway side. If you flip over the road token, it becomes a double carriageway. Mm -hmm. And so taking this action allows you to upgrade the entire link. If the link is two road sections in length, you have to be able to upgrade both in order to take this action. And that's significant because you have to be able to afford to do that. And again, the amount of Deutschmarks you must pay to do this action is depicted here in this dashboard section. In the first era, it's going to cost six per section of that link. So if I wanted to take this action by playing my black card over here, mm -hmm. I can upgrade a link 
in the, the black road network here. So if I wanted to upgrade this section that consists of two different sections, actually, I would flip them both over and then I would have to pay 12 Deutschmarks for that because it's six per section. Now I only have 10 left, so I wouldn't actually be able to do this, but I could take that action and upgrade a different section, say this one over here and pay six. Now, of course, I've already taken my one action for the round. So this is purely demonstration purposes. So I won't actually be doing that. But if I'm able to pay that, then the last thing that happens is I now update the city values for that section. So then both of these cities would get upgraded to a value of four because it is now connected to a completed upgraded uh, section right there. Mm -hmm. And finally, we always end by placing an employee inside that office. So I'm going to get to place an employee in the topmost office here. And this is a prime example as to what we have to do if the office is filled. The leftmost employee gets placed into the lobby. Everybody else slides down. I place my employee here and now red player is happy because we have the opportunity to start promoting this employee into the, those office buildings. Now the next few actions have to do with your truck. Each player has two trucks, but you only start the game with one of them available. And throughout the game, you're going to be moving your truck around the board on built road spaces, delivering goods to the various countries that are situated around the board, and driving through service stations. They'll get you some bonuses, which you'll see. And so this next action allows you to load a truck and place it out onto the board. Now going back to your delivery board, each player board shows all the different countries as well as their preferred uh, goods. And these goods are provided by the various depots around the cities. So when taking this action, you place your truck out at one of these depots um, that matches the color of the card that you played. So I'm going to go ahead and place my truck here in Hanover, since it is a part of the green Autobahn. This depot produces automotive goods. So I'm going to go ahead and place uh, that type of good on my truck. And these resources are all going to look completely different in the final copy of the game. Mm -hmm. Now with that good, I can start making my way towards one of the bordering countries who prefers that type of good. Because if I'm able to deliver it to them, then I get to take a delivery tile and place it on my delivery board here, gaining me a bonus to use at the start of one of my next turns. If I deliver that good to any other country that does not prefer it, then I would just get the amount of money that's shown to the side of the flag. And these can only be taken once per game. The other thing that trucks are used for is for passing by service stations. And so this next action allows us to build a service station out onto the board. So let's say I had this black card in my hand and then I played it to that action spot. That'll allow me to build this service station somewhere along the Black Autobahn line. So you can only actually build them next to links that have two sections because you're going to put them right in between the two sections like that. In the future, every time my truck passes by my own service station, then I get the bonus that's depicted underneath it. In this case, there's money and I would get the higher value. If I had, say, all four of these service stations built, then I get to choose which bonus I want between the four. Whenever other players pass by my service stations, then I get this highest value of money here, but I get the lower between the two. Mm -hmm. So if I had all four of my stations built out, I would get two money. Now the final action is one of the most important actions, and this is allowing you to unlock a technology. So if you look on the left-hand side of your player board, you have one technology for every color card in your hand. So say I were to take this action and play this red card here, then I would get to unlock that red key. I would then choose one of the three columns on my player board here that represents the three different departments. And I would place the cube at the very bottom of that column. And this would unlock either an immediate effect mm -hmm. or an ongoing effect that's depicted in that section. So in this case, this would unlock the technology that allows me to get one movement on the development track whenever I take that specific upgrade action, which is pretty nice. Yep. Whenever you place a cube on your player board like this, this unlocks that specific department in the department board over here. Because I placed my cube here, I would now be allowed to promote my employees into this section of the, the building. And at the end of the game, this employee would score me points. In the future, I would then be able to promote this employee to the higher level here, which only increases the multiplier, essentially. Only if I have that section unlocked on my player board. Mm -hmm. And again, this is the only way for you to score points in this game. And so this is going to be stuff like earning you a certain number of points for any workers that you have left in the conference area. And it's going to be either at a multiplier of one, two, or three points. Mm -hmm. And each player, by the way, can only have at most one employee in each of these sections. The middle department will score you points depending on the number of different countries that you're able to deliver at least one goods to. And the third column scores you points for the number of service stations that you put out. This fourth column here is only for multipliers for your money at the end of the game. And uh, you don't actually need to unlock anything in your player board for you to put your workers in this section. Now, the final thing that I want to point out is if you want to promote your workers to the, the topmost section of the departments here, 
you have to unlock both of the technologies of that department. Mm -hmm. So plan on taking this action several times throughout the game. And some of these technologies can be really powerful, such as this one that allows you to take the bonus every time you put out a, a service station. Mm -hmm. The technology in the dead center is how you get your second truck. Yeah, that's right. And then some of the technologies up here allow you to take an advanced uh, action card. And these action cards give you specific bonuses when used for specific actions. Like whenever I use this action card to do an upgrade, I also get to move up on the development track. Various things like that. And so those are all the main types of actions that you can take on your turn. Instead of taking an action, as a reminder, you can manually refresh your hand, and in doing so, you would get one coin for each card that you picked up. Instead of playing an action card, a player can also once per era claim funding. The way you do this is you take one of your employee pieces and place it in the designated section on this board over here. In the first era, you would gain 12 Deutschmarks, 16, and 24 in the third. And so once you've finished your action, then you move on to the next phase, which is moving your truck. If you played a card this turn and you have a truck that's on the Autobahn that matches the color of the card that you played, then you get to move it up to two spaces along built roads. And if your truck, by the way, starts on a double carriage piece, then that's one additional move. Mm -hmm. So if it was on this one, you get to move up to three times. And again, whenever you pass by service stations, then players will take their bonuses immediately. And anytime the truck crosses over into a specific country, then you deliver the good that's on that truck and return your truck to your player board. Mm -hmm. And whenever you deliver a good to a country, then you also get one of the bonuses that are in that country's uh, bonus section, as long as they still have them available. And the very first person to deliver a pharmaceutical goods to that country gets a promotion. And you would cover up that spot because now it is no longer a bonus that's available. It's also important to note that pharmaceuticals are only available in the third era because that's when you have access to Berlin, who manufactures the pharmaceuticals. Mm -hmm. And if you finish moving your truck, then your turn ends. And if at this point you don't have any more cards in your hand, then you automatically refresh, gaining no money for doing this. Now again, the end of the first era occurs once all 10 road spaces have been built. At the end of each era, there's an administration phase where players will earn money depending on the sum of the city values for each Autobahn divided by the number of players that are in that construction office. The player who triggered the end of the era gets one free promotion, and then each player checks their route card. So everybody has a route card that's handed out at the start of the game, and your route card depicts a specific route along the map over here. So my specific one is Oberhausen to Milano, mm -hmm. which is here all the way down to here. And so if by this point there is at least one route that completely connects that route, then I score this, and it's going to give me a certain amount of money or um, promotions. And there's an equation for this, by the way, that we won't get into now, mm -hmm. but it has to do with having a certain number of service stations and upgraded roads. The more, the better. Mm -hmm. Lastly, if it's the end of the second era, then all these roadblocks go away, and now we have access to the eastern side of the board. And during the third era, we will also have access to more advanced action cards. At the end of the administration phase of the third era, then the game will end, and you go into endgame scoring, and endgame scoring is literally just this section of the board. After doing all of this math, it's going to be whoever has the most points wins. And so there you have it. That is a general gist of how you play Audubon. Now, we did not go through every single rule and every single uh, bonus symbol on the board, but uh, hopefully with this video, you're able to get an understanding as to what to expect. Now, this game is currently on Kickstarter right now, so there is a link to the campaign down in the description. If you do have any questions about what you saw here or about the campaign, feel free to leave those in the comments, and we'll try to get back to those as soon as we can. Thank you so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'd like to see you guys again. Thank you. Bye. Bye.